Mr Speaker, it's three minutes past twelve. If somebody phones if somebody phones nine 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 now because they have chest pains and fear it might be a heart attack, when would the Prime Minister expect an ambulance to arrive? Yeah. Oh. Mr Speaker, it's absolutely right that people can rely on the emergency services when they need them. And that's why we are rapidly implementing measures to improve the delivery of ambulance times and indeed urgent and emergency care. But I'd say to the honourable gentleman, if he cares about ensuring that patients get access to life-saving emergency care when they need it, why won't he support our minimum safety legislation? Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister can deflect all he likes, but for the person for the person suffering from chest pains, the clock started ticking straight away. Every minute counts. That's why the government says an ambulance should be there in 18 minutes. In that case it would mean just about 20 past 12. Now I don't I know he doesn't want to answer the question I asked him, so I'm going to ask him again. When will that ambulance arrive? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, because of the extra funding we're putting in to relieve pressure in urgent and emergency care departments, because of the investment we're putting in in ambulance call handling, we will improve ambulance times as we are recovering from the pandemic and indeed the pressures of this winter. But I say to the honourable gentleman again, because he makes my case for me, he describes the life-saving care that people desperately need. So why? When in other countries like France, Spain, Italy and others, why is he depriving people here that care? Mr Speaker, he obviously doesn't know or doesn't care. I'll tell him. If our heart attack victim had called for an ambulance in Peterborough at 12.03, it wouldn't arrive until 10 past two. These are our constituents waiting for ambulances I'm talking about. If it was Northampton, it wouldn't arrive until 20... Or, or, order, order, order. Mr Blister, I hope you want to see the rest of the questions out, because I want you to be here, but you're going to have to be here better. Come on, get on. Mr Speaker, I'm talking about our constituents. If they were in Northampton, it wouldn't arrive until 20 past two. If they were in Plymouth, it wouldn't arrive until 20 to three. That's why... Someone who fears a heart attack waiting more than two and a half hours for an ambulance. Not the worst case scenario, just the average wait. Yep. So for one week, will he stop blaming others, take yeah. some responsibility, yeah. and just admit under his watch the NHS is in crisis, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Mr. Speaker, I noticed the one place the honourable gentleman didn't mention was Wales. Yeah. Where we know ambulance times are even worse than they are in England, Mr. Speaker. No, and the reason, the reason that is the case, because this is not about politics. This is about the fact that the NHS in Scotland, in Wales, in England, is dealing with unprecedented challenges, recovering from COVID, dealing with a very virulent and early flu season, and everyone is doing their best to bring those wait times down. But again, I'll ask him. If he believes so much in improving ambulance wait times, why won't he support our minimum safety legislation? Mr Speaker, he won't answer any questions and he won't take any responsibility. 